Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam, and about three weeks ago, I put up a video on a simple way to root figs in containers. I'm gonna do a follow-up video on that now. I've had it sitting under my deck for about three weeks, haven't looked under this plastic. So I'm gonna take the plastic off, and like I talked about in that other video, I'm gonna take out any fig pieces that I don't think are gonna root. Then I'm gonna put the bag back on it and stick it back under the deck. So let's just see what we've managed to do in three weeks. So here's the container. I'm gonna take off this uh, plastic bag. And uh, like I said in the other video, we're definitely going to have some leaves drop off of these. We'll definitely want to get those out while we're in here. Just kind of hunt around for any of those that have dropped off. Um, let's see. I think that may be all of the leaves that have actually fallen off for now. Oh, there's one more down in the bottom right there. Okay, so let's just see. Let's just pull a couple of these out and see what we've got. Look at there. Um, even I'm kind of surprised by that. I thought they would have just calloused at this point, but this thing has just absolutely beautiful roots coming out of it already. And that's just three weeks under a little plastic bag under my deck. Here's one next to it that um, has actually calloused. We can actually see that it's calloused on the bottom. The leaf dropped off of it like I suspect that some of them would, and the new growth is right there for next season. So I think I'm going to leave him in there. I think that's okay as long as we see that callus. If we see any rot in the bottom of them, those are the ones we're going to throw away. Let's pull. Here we've got, wow, 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 look at this. This is just in three weeks, folks, just under a plastic bag in a container with a 50-50 perlite and peat moss mix. So... I'm really, really impressed by that. I gotta dig this back in really well. Not damage those roots, putting them back in. I'll just firm it back in gently like that. Here's one next to it, a tiny little. Oh, even the one right here that has lost the leaf, it has the buds for next year for where it's gonna leaf out. Even it has actually started to initiate roots. So this is actually going better than I even could have planned on. Um, the majority of these are actually rooted, I believe. This has only been three weeks. Okay. I thought we'd have to cull some out for sure, but it looks like we don't even have to cull any of the pieces out. I would not expect to get this percentage every time. The main way I went about this was I got this soil moist, I put this plastic bag on it, and then I did not look at it. I did not go back and check on it. It would have been tempting to water it. I know myself, if I'd have taken it off, I'd have felt the soil in this pot. And then I would have gone, ooh, it could use a little water. And I'd have watered it and I'd end up overdoing it. So this has worked absolutely perfectly. It's just under my deck without any direct sun on it. And I'm going to leave this bag on it. I'm going to let them root in a little bit further with the bag on top of it. Maybe two weeks from now, I'll take that bag off of it. And then these are going to be extremely vulnerable to being killed by a freeze if this pot freezes solid. So that's the big concern going forward. I'm going to take this bag off in a couple weeks. And then I think I'm going to leave this pot under my deck without the bag on it. And when it gets really cold uh, for me, that won't be until the middle of December. From the middle of December till maybe early February, I'm probably just going to put this pot in my garage. I have a bright space in my garage. So it at least won't be completely denied light in that space. But I want to keep this pot from freezing solid, but I want to keep it in a space that's still cool enough to keep them dormant. I don't want to wake them up. This bag seems like it'll be okay to keep on. If you've um, torn the bag up some, you may want to replace it with a new one. I do have a couple holes up here in the top that let some moisture vent out of the top of the bag, but that's it. I'm going to stick this thing back under my deck. Remember, I have it elevated on a couple bricks. That's also important. We don't want this pot sitting flush on the ground. We'll pass things back and forth that way to unrooted cuttings. They're extremely vulnerable to disease issues when we've made fresh cuts on the bottom of them and we've opened them up to the possibility of disease problems. So just keep that in mind. Keep them elevated, vent the top, and ignore the thing. Like I say, I'm going to ignore it for two or three more weeks, and then I'm going to take the plastic bag off at that point. So thanks for watching and if this was helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any questions you have about rooting figs. Thanks again.